Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. Well, it was quite the week for Ann and I. On Wednesday, uh, with great uh, regret and sadness, we had to put down our uh, beloved Beagle Angie. Um, I'm sure you've heard by now if you've been following the following me on social media or anything. It was quite a traumatic thing. She's been a big part of our, our life for 15 years, seven months, but uh, age had kind of crept up on her and she had too many ailments, so I kind of had to make the decision to, uh, to uh, put her down before it got too bad. And then the next day, we actually went and uh, got our new truck finally that had arrived, so it was kind of bittersweet. We still were kind of recovering from Angie, so we just went and grabbed that. And then we put our uh, old truck blue, big blue, we had put up on up for sale. And within a day, a guy came from Alberta and got blue. So it's another kind of traumatic day saying goodbye to, to good old blue. But this video is going to be a happy video because we finally have our new blue, bigger blue, big blue too. We finally took possession of it. So we had this factory ordered back in June. Um, several reasons why we did. Um, one of the reasons is I wanted to get just the, the features that I needed for towing and not too many else, too many other features. Also, we wanted to get a nice color. So, uh, you know, a lot of the, the trucks now are black or silver or white or charcoal, but we wanted to to get another blue truck, so that was one of the reasons to factory order. Another reason for ordering it from the factory is at least you know you're getting a truly brand new car or truck. Um, we've seen a lot, they just sit in the dealer's lot, you don't know how, how long they've been there. A lot of times they end up with quite a few kilometers on if they've been test drive, so I just wanted to get an, a brand new one. We had time to wait all summer for it, so I also get it fresh off the off the train. Um, so went online onto the Ram Trucks website and built exactly what I wanted. Um, that way I could I could uh, keep the price down quite a bit because you know these new trucks there are not cheap. Um, the main the main goal of mine was to get something mainly for towing our, our fifth wheel. Um, I wasn't so interested in all the fancy bells and whistles and creature comforts and luxury seats and all that. I wanted to invest the money into the, the better motor and transmission and some of the packages you can get for towing. Um, so let me go through and I'll, I'll show you exactly what uh, my main features were that I, that I ordered in this truck. Number one, of course, is the common 6.7 liter diesel engine that was the main reason i i decided to go with a, a ram product um, i just really uh, respect the cummins engine and heard a lot of good things about them and i know they have massive amounts of torque and are really uh, an engine built for towing and built for a long life so i also liked you can see the engine compartment here um, doesn't look quite as packed when I was looking at a lot of the Fords and Chevys. They have a V8 and they were so buried in there you could hardly see any any part of the motor. So this just seemed to be a more simplistic design to me. Um, this one puts out 385 horsepower but it also has uh, 930 foot-pounds of torque to it. And that's because I also ordered the I think it was an extra $2,000 option or so. Um, they call it Aisin or Aisin or I think the Japanese call it Aishin, Aishin or something transmission. Anyway, it's a super uh, heavy duty transmission. And when you match up the Cummins motor with that, you unleash a little more torque. I think the, the Chrysler uh, transmission, the, the cheaper one, you only get 800 foot pounds of torque with that. So this is uh, what they call the, the high output Cummins. So, take a nice look at that, because it probably will never be as clean as that again. <laughs> Gotta love it. A couple other options I went with the 8 foot long bed, versus I think it's 6.5 foot for the, the shorter box. 
Um, being full timers, um, we have a lot of uh, stuff to, to go with us. So I like to have the eight foot uh, box. You can see here I have my uh, two toolboxes ahead of the hitch and also my solar panel. That's how I had it set up in my other truck and that was an eight footer. So I really had to stick with an eight foot box. But I didn't go with a dually. Um, there's been a lot of uh, questions about why I didn't go dually. Big Blue would, was a dually. But quite frankly, when I was looking at the specs for these, these uh, rams, this thing specced out at being able to tow um, 17, 000, up to a 17,000 pound trailer. Our trailer comes in at under 10,000 pounds all loaded up. And um, I don't think we'll ever be ever be looking at going with a, a trailer that's going to need to be need any bit more capacity than that you know the dualies with this ram package if i went with a dually i could get up to over 30,000 pounds of towing which is wild to get that much but uh you know you got to put up with all the the, the disadvantages of a dually a dually's eight feet wide at the back. This is six feet wide, so that's a major, uh, major inconvenience being that wide. Also, you got an extra set of tires and stuff. The axle rating on this this particular truck, the rear axle rating is seven thousand pounds. The front axle rating is six thousand pounds. So it's got plenty of oomph. Even if we wanted to go a little bit bigger and in a fifth wheel, it would go with no problem be able to tow it. Um, let's just take a look in the box here I went with uh, the bed liner I had a bed liner on on old blue really like that and I also got the fifth wheel prep package which gives you these kind of puck system here so you can easily uh, put your fifth wheel hitch in and out um, I decided to get the factory hitch while I was at it uh, blues hitch was pretty old so I decided to to, to treat myself to a, a new hitch. Um, that one's rated at 20,000 pounds, so there should be no problem there. And the head pops out of that, so you can take the head off, reduces the weight, and then you just so undo those those clamps and lift the hitch out of there. And and then there's little uh, little discs I can put back in, so I could have my head my bed back to use without having rails inside. So that's pretty cool. A um, couple of the features we got, we got a, a backup camera that sits under the tailgate there um, and, and rear rear uh, backup sensors because a lot of times we like to back up into a parking lot. Um, picked up some uh, running boards on each side. That's about it for the outside. Oh, the wheels. Just went with standard steel wheels and get fancy there or anything, but I did go. I had a choice of 18 inch, 18 inch size uh, wheels versus 20, and by going with the 18 inch, it reduces my uh, my bed height to the tailgate. There, I was noticing when I was measuring the Rams, if they had 20 inch wheels, they were about 60 inches to the top of the the rear uh, tailgate and with these I was more like 58, 59 so I save a few inches, little critical inches because when I hook up the Cougar to it I want to have pretty good clearance up there. That'll be another video I'll do when I when I match up my, my hitch and pin box and, and get it set up for the Cougar. I'll, uh, I'll do a video on that. I'm going to just get some specs here for you. Um, looked it up online. We've got a uh, gross vehicle weight rating of 12,300 pounds. My old truck was 10,000, so I got another 2,300 pounds to spare there. Uh, gross cargo weight rating, that's the truck and the trailer, it can handle 25,300 pounds. Uh, max towing is 16,850 pounds. And the payload, um, the rating online was 4,370 for the, the payload capacity, but when I looked inside at the door jam, um, it said 3,995, so I guess that's taken into account from the factory with the hitch and 
I don't know, spare tire or whatever, but still 4,000 pounds. That's a, at least an extra 1,000 pounds over my, my last truck. Okay, maybe we'll give you a little look inside here, see what the interior looks like. It's pretty Spartan, but it has a few few neat features. Okay, here we go. So this model would be the, the base model they call the Tradesman model. Um, you can go up in various packages and, uh, you know, get leather seats and all sorts of fancy stuff, but the price climbs quite click quickly. Um, so I just wanted something very basic for us. Um, but uh, it's very durable because it is designed to be a work truck. So you can see the floors are all sort of just a vinyl. Um, same with the seats, heavy duty vinyl. So it's, it's built to take some, uh, some wear and tear, which is nice. Um, the back seats here, they just flip up if you want some extra space. Store stuff, there's some store pockets down there. I won't go too far into it, there's lots of videos on this. Kind of like the little uh, hidey holes down here. The back seat has lots of room and you can seat three people across it. Um, kind of sad Angie would have just loved this back here. Um, you can see there's a, a heat, heating down there. I'm not sure if it does heating and cooling. I haven't really tested that out yet. But it is nice to have four doors. We had a, a super cab before, but we only had the two doors, so it was kind of hard to access it. But this is going to be great when we stop and do a huge grocery shop, get supplies when we're on the road. We'll just throw it back in there. Here's the front section here. Just basic controls. Got power windows, power mirrors, power locks, um, auto lights and stuff like that. Um, the console, we decided against going with the, the console there. Decided to go with the, the flip up seat here so we can actually sit, uh, do six people in here if we want. Um, that's all, just a choice back and forth. Some people like the console, some people like this. But when it flips down, it's got cup holders. Got another little area to put stuff in. Let's just go to some of the features though. This is nice, four wheel drive. And this is shift on the fly four wheel drive. Um, that's going to be a big thing this year for us because blue was a two wheel drive and a dually, so there's a lot of places we wouldn't dare go off road when we're exploring. So, this is going to be nice to have a truck we can actually get into explore areas we've never been. Also, more mountain driving because of the power. Um, let's go down here and have a look down here. Okay, a little closer look at the important stuff here. Uh, that just turns off the, the rear sensor there when I hook up the rig. This is my exhaust brake, which is a big feature, another feature, really good feature on the Cummins. They have a variable geometry turbo um, with a built-in exhaust brake that's supposed to be really good. Um, also the tow haul mode, um, something to do with the, the traction control. And over here is my brake controller built right into the truck. Um, so it's got the towing package with all the all the plugs for hooking up the the fifth wheel cable or just a regular uh, regular boat trailer or what you, what have it. So that's really nice to have in there, and I can set it up through the the menuing system on the dash. Um, of course, I have I don't have the fancy package; just have the basic package. So let me turn it on so you can see it here. There it is coming on there. Yeah, you can see. Uh, uh, it's a kind of a basic uh, menuing system. Um, the higher end trucks have a, a more elaborate screen, but this gives you all the, the vital information. You can page through different menus and and see what's going on with the truck. Let's just turn it on here. Start it up for you. There we go. Nice, eh? Hear that Cummins roar to life. Sweet. Yeah, so that, I won't bore you with all the menuing, but it has all kinds of different information right there. I think this is the one I'll probably keep it on when I'm towing. Got the coolant temperature, trans temperature, oil temperature, and and the, the oil pressure. And you can see there, 205 kilometers. 
we got it to, it was only had uh, 30 kilometers on it which is like 20 miles so yeah that was cool to pick up a, a brand 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 new truck barely driven let's go outside give you a, give you a listen to that motor out there Just taking her for a nice Sunday drive into Strathcona Provincial Park. Got to put some uh, miles on the, the truck before we're allowed to hook up and tow. They recommend uh, 805 kilometers before you hook up to anything heavy. I think it's about 500 miles. Um, so we're just putting on some easy miles, testing her out down some of these windy roads, see how it handles. Seems to be a, quite a bit more lumpy than blue. I guess that's because it's a, a four-wheel drive and everything's brand new and stiff. But so far we're liking it. I love the scenery here right now. Lots of the leaves are turning on the trees. What a day. Is it October 14th, I think? Getting some good weather late in the, the year here. So another thing we didn't get was the big nav control. You can get a big 7-inch or I think even now it's going to be a 12-inch display. Push button and all that, that stuff. Uh, internet connection or whatever. We got a radio, look! <laughs> but uh, to get that package was another thing. The, the problem is, is when you're shopping for these new trucks and you want one feature, they lock you into a package instead and then you get a bunch of features you don't really want and all of a sudden the price gets boosted five or ten grand. So to keep within our budget we just went with the, the radio. Also we don't really need the nav we already have a, a $400 Garmin RV specific uh, navigation nice seven inch display on it so I'll probably mount that up here somewhere um, and if I, ever in the future I wanted to get the, the, the fancy system I've seen online where you can get it aftermarket and this whole plate kind of comes out and a lot of a lot of times all the the wiring is in behind there so swap it out that's a lot of a lot of the stuff in here can be upgraded if you really really want something one thing I'm gonna to have to put in is a uh, lumbar support for Ann it's <laughs> got kind of a bum back and it's funny our old old 1994 truck came with uh, with automatic you could pump up the lumbar this one you had to spend 10 grand on a package just to get the lumbar support <laughs> so I think I'm gonna install my own like that growl of the Cummins. Can't wait till it's all broken in. I can hook up the fifth wheel and uh, really hear it perform. OK, 
Okay, there we go. Nice Sunday drive. Put about a hundred miles on the new blue there. So far so good. No problems at all. Um, so that's good for now. I just thought I'd give you an overall look at it and uh, I'll come back with a video when I, when I match it up with the, the hitch here. Until next time, Ray from LoveyRV.com. Thanks for watching, folks. What a day.